the balancing length. Next only the remaining length is 100 minus L. Like that you have to find out the balancing length repeatedly by following these steps by changing the resistance in the left gap. Then what is the formula for this? According to the condition of balancing of Wheatstone beads P by Q equal to R by S. Now the resistance of the length L this is equal to P. It is directly proportional to this length AB. This AB is nothing but L or else I can write P equal to some constant K multiplied by L. Similarly, the resistance of the remaining wire is Q which is directly proportional to its length. This is 100 minus L okay. or else I can write Q which is equal to some constant K multiplied by 100 minus L. Now using the condition for balancing of a Wheatstone bits, I get P by Q equal to R by X. Now substitute the values. If I substitute the values, then P instead of that I can write K L upon Q it is K multiplied by 100 minus L this is equal to R upon this x. So, from this I can calculate, I can write the equation for x. So, x equal to this kk gets cancelled. So, it is x equal to 100 minus L into R upon L. So, this equation will be used to find out the value of x. If the value of R is changed, then accordingly the value of L also changes, balancing length changes. Like that you take 5, 6 readings and take the average of the value x. Like this unknown resistance can be calculated. While doing this experiment, you have to select the values of these resistors in such a way that they are of same order. Otherwise the sensitivity of these breeds will not be there. So, if I interchange this R and X, if I interchange then the L comes in the numerator and uh, this comes in the denominator. So, by interchanging that also you can do it. So, this ends the meter breeds. The last topic of this unit current electricity which is the potentiometer and its application. This is a sure short question topic. A potentiometer consists of 4 meter long wire. It is divided into 4 segments of 1 meter each 0 to 100 centimeter from here to here second meter from here to here third and from here to here fourth. That means this is 0 centimeter point and this is 400 centimeter point. So, a 400 centimeter long wire is bent or arranged in four segments as I have shown in this diagram. This is point A and this is point B. At point A, we have connected one cell. Uh, of course, it is a battery. A battery of EMF E and uh, along with one milliammeter, one plug key and one rheostat. This point B is connected to the Rio start like this the circuit is completed. At point A we have connected one voltmeter and the second end of the voltmeter is again connected to one jockey. By closing the key this K we can send a constant current here. Constant current is flowing through the wire AB. To fix this current say 50, 60 or 70 milli amperes. That means right now a steady current is flowing through this potentiometer wire. Then if I connect the voltmeter's positive terminal here at A that is as a positive terminal of the battery also and the other end if I slide on the potentiometer wire with the help of the jockey as the length of this, this portion AJ increases as the length increases 
the resistance of this portion also increases as a result of that potential difference between these two points also goes on increasing. It means here the length L and potential difference they are directly proportional to each other. I will repeat this again. The potential difference between any two points on the potentiometer wire and this potentiometer wire should be of uniform cross section, uniform composition. Okay. So, this potential difference across any portion of that particular wire is directly proportional to the length of that portion. So, this is called as a principle of potentiometer. This potentiometer is used to measure the potential difference between any two points in an electrical network. If you use this potentiometer, then the readings will be more accurate than voltmeter. Now, V directly proportional to L. If I write in the equation form, then V equal to some constant K multiplied by L. How this constant are okay? How how this uh, relation came? Uh, let me explain. Actually, V equal to I R, according to Ohm's law, where I is the current flowing through the wire and R is the resistance of that particular portion. Now this is I as it is. Instead of writing R, we can write rho L upon A. Rho is the specific resistance of that wire. L is the length of that portion and A is the area of cross section of that wire. Since we are not changing the area of cross section, we are not changing the length therefore, of course current is also kept constant. So, this I rho and this A, they are all constant, only thing which we are changing is L. So, therefore, here I can write V directly proportional to L because this parenthesis term is a constant. Because of this reason, we say that the potential difference across any portion of you know, the potentiometer wire is directly proportional to the length of that portion. So, here this I rho upon A is a constant. So, now I can state the principle of potentiometer as the potential difference across any two between any two points on the potentiometer wire of uniform cross section, uniform composition is directly proportional to the length of that portion when the steady current is allowed to pass through it. This is the principle. Now, the same can be explained with the help of a graph also. This is x axis and this is y axis. On x axis let us take the length, on y axis we will be taking the potential difference. So, as length increases potential difference also goes on increasing and it is directly proportional therefore, a straight line graph you will get. So, this is the graphical representation. Now, if I find out the slope here, then this slope is equal to it is V by L, slope is V by L. That means, here if I write this V equal to K L, then K must be equal to V by L. The value of K changes if the length changes. If the value of length is more, then the value of k is less. The potentiometer is said to be more sensitive if the value of k is very, very less. It means if the length is more, the length of the potentiometer wire is more, then this apparatus works more accurately. It is said to be more sensitive. So, in the examination question comes like this, state the principle of potentiometer and how can its sensitivity be increased? Then the answer is that statement just now, just before one or two minutes before I have explained you. You write that statement and draw this graph and say that the potentiometer sensitivity can be increased by increasing uh, the length of the potentiometer wire. This is the answer. Now, what is the use of this potentiometer wire? In your syllabus, the two uses are given, two applications are given, one by one, I uh, will be explaining you right now. For this purpose, I will be using the circuit which is drawn here only with some modification. Now, in this diagram, we will remove this one here. This cell is called as a driver cell. 
because it is sending the current to the potentiometer and this circuit here this one this is called as the auxiliary circuit the in the first use if i am having a cell of emf e1 cell is of emf e1 there is another cell whose emf is e2 i want to compare the emfs of these two cells to compare the emfs of these two cells we have to use this circuit diagram that is a potentiometer circuit diagram now positive ends of all the three cells must be connected at point a connected point a then these negative terminals they are connected to a key here this key is called as a two way key this is a two way key so here first terminal second one and the third one then after that you connect one galvanometer then from galvanometer you can connect one jockey and this jockey can be slided from a to b on the potentiometer wire now this is a circuit diagram which frequently uh, we will be using that now what are the various steps here to find out e1 and e2 and to compare it the first step is by closing the key here pass a steady current through the potentiometer wire then you have to close this gap between 1 and 2 then the cell of emf e is in the circuit e1 is in the circuit and e2 is not in the circuit then what you do slide this jockey from a to b at one point let us say j the galvanometer shows no deflection that means when no current is drawn from the cell because only cell is connected not a resistor if the resistor is connected like this then this resistor draws certain current from the cell here we have not done like that so when no no current is drawn from the cell the potential drop between its terminals is equal to its emf because of this reason i will be getting e1 directly proportional to that aj length of that portion or else i can write like this e1 directly proportional to l1 or e1 equal to k l1 now remove this plug key here that is open the gap 1 and 2 and close the gap here again repeat the same thing means slide the jockey from a to b at one point on the potentiometer wire let us say at a j dash you will get another balancing point means current flowing through the galvanometer will be zero then i get e2 which is directly proportional to a j dash or else direct i'll be writing e2 should be equal to k l2 now to compare these two emfs divide e1 by e2 then ultimately you get l1 upon l2 so this equation can be used to compare e1 and e2 by knowing the values of l1 and l2 which are the balancing lengths which are obtained from this experiment so knowing the values of l1 and l2 e1 by e2 can be easily calculated so this is called as the comparison of the emfs of two primary cells using the potentiometer so this is the first application it is important one also in the second application what we will do the this primary this this auxiliary circuit will be remaining same now here i am connecting one cell whose internal resistance is to be calculated so in the second application we are determining the internal resistance of a cell the circuit diagram is shown here the positive terminal of e that is a cell whose internal resistance is to be found and this is the positive terminal of the driver cell all are connected at one point known as a across this cell one resistance box another key is connected in parallel at this point from this point the galvanometer and the jockey is connected so this is a circuit diagram then what is the method here the first method is first step is first first step is 
close the key a k1 by keeping a k2 open what will happen here when k1 is closed and rheostat is adjusted a constant current will be flowing through the potentiometer wire then by sliding the jockey on the potentiometer you know on the potentiometer wire obtain the balancing length since you are not drawing any current from the cell therefore i get e directly proportional to e directly proportional to let us say aj and this aj we can call as l1 next this is e equal to k l1 equation 1 you can write in the next step close the key k2 now and introduce some resistance from the resistance box when you introduce the resistance from the resistance box and close the key k2 then the current flows through this that means we are drawing the current from this cell when the balancing length is found again then we will be getting the potential difference okay in the previous session we studied the uh, meaning of the potential difference the terminal potential difference and emf so this is the terminal potential difference so this v is now directly proportional to uh, j a j dash so what is j dash here j dash is the another balancing length so actually this j j dash it will not come here you okay, know because when you are drawing the current then emf will be definitely uh, reduced so therefore better write uh, j dash here and uh, j here okay no so a j dash you call this as l2 or else i can write v equal to k l2 in the previous session equation for internal resistance has been derived just recall that equation r equal to e minus v minus 1 into r and substituting the values here this is k l1 upon k l2 minus 1 into r or else r equal to l1 by l2 minus 1 multiplied by r this is the final equation and from this experiment l1 l2 can be calculated l1 l2 can be determined and you substitute in this equation and get the value of r so like this from examination point of view there is a guaranteed question in your board examination on this topic potentiometer wire 